We're talking polygons. Now a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more segments. All right, now that told us a lot more information than we probably realize it told us, all right? It's closed. Notice that this right here would not be a closed figure. All right, it's also a plane figure. Well, if it's a plane figure, that means it's two dimensions. Okay, notice that this would be a three-dimensional object. That is not a plane figure. It's also formed by three or more segments. Now, a segment, of course, is straight. It's not curved. And both these two have curved, either one large curved segment, or that would have to be curved also. So we've been given a lot of information. A closed plane, plane figure is going to be one of these type of things right here. Notice they're all formed out of segments. It is two-dimensional, and, well, they're flat. Um, and it's, it's closed, sorry, it doesn't have any openings in it or anything like that. Um, it says the segments that form a polygon are called its sides, of course. Uh, a vertex of a polygon is the intersection of two or more sides. So a vertex would be all of those, what you might think of as corners, we're going to call those vertices. An equilangular polygon is a polygon in which all angles are congruent. An equilateral polygon is a polygon in which all sides are congruent, and we know those terms from when we talked about triangles. A triangle is a polygon. Equilangular, all angles are the same. Equilateral, all sides are congruent. Um, if a polygon is both equilateral and equilangular, this is a regular polygon. If a polygon is not equilangular and equilateral, then it's called irregular. Okay, so regular is a very specific type of polygon, which is both equal angular and equilateral, meaning it has all congruent angles and all congruent sides. Um, this is in the diagram, A and B are equal angular. We can see that all the angles are marked to be congruent. Polygons A and C are equilateral. Okay, notice that all of the sides on A, all of the sides on C are all marked to be congruent. D doesn't have any congruent marks, so the angles are not all congruent, the sides are not all congruent. A is the only regular polygon. B, C, and D are all irregular because they are not both equilateral and equilangular. Now, there's a big list right here if you want to pause this and look at it. Um, for the most part, our prefixes will help us out a lot. Uh, tri, three, quad, four, penta, five, and so on to know how many sides are going to be in this polygon. Um, and this is also a good chart to reference. Definitely helpful to know. This is classify each polygon, determine whether it's equilangular, equilateral, regular, irregular, or more than one of these. Well, I'm going to let this be A, this be L, this be R, and this be I, I'm just labeling this for shorthand use. Well, this is clearly equal angular, but it's not equilateral, so that must mean that it is also an irregular polygon. This one is equal lateral, all of the sides are the same, but the angles are not, so it's also an irregular polygon. Here we have the angles are not the same, the sides are not the same, so this is just irregular, and finally on D, well, all the angles are right angles, so this is equilangular, but it's not equilateral. So that must mean that it is irregular. None of these are regular polygons, because it has to be both equilangular and equilateral. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. For example, here, from A to D, this is a diagonal from A to C, that's a diagonal, because A and D are not consecutive vertices. Consecutive vertices for A would be A and E, or A and B. Diagonals can help determine whether a polygon is concave or convex. In a convex polygon, every diagonal lies on the inside of it. Notice that any diagonal we draw for this one over here 
is going to be inside of that polygon. But a concave polygon, we can draw a diagonal so that it goes to the exterior of that polygon. And how I always remember this is concave, it almost looks like there are little caves created in that polygon. So that cave means that we're going to be able to draw a diagonal so that it goes outside of that polygon. Um, if two polygons have the same size and shape, they are congruent polygons. We know congruent means same size and shape. So clearly any two polygons that have both of these things would be congruent. It says, A, find a diagonal that contains points on the exterior of ABCD. Oops, a diagonal here. Well, there's a diagonal that connects to non-consecutive vertices. It goes to the exterior. Um, so in this case, I would say segment BD. Determine whether polygon EFGH is concave or convex. E, F, G, H is going to be concave because notice I can draw a diagonal on the outside. This is concave because diagonal E, G lies on the Are the polygons A, B, C, D, and F, G, H, E congruent? Well, let's look here. It looks like angle D is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to H. A is congruent to F. And B is congruent to G. So all the angles are congruent to one another. Well, if we look at the side lengths, this side length is congruent to this one. This side length over here is congruent to this one over here. We do have all the side lengths are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So yes, because they are the same shape and size. And they're the same shape and size if they, all, if they have the same angle measures and side lengths. Each vertex of a polygon, there are two special angles. An interior angle of a polygon is an angle formed by two sides of a polygon with a common vertex. So here would be an interior angle for that polygon. The exterior angle right here is formed by one side of a polygon and the extension of an adjacent side. Okay, so in this case, here we have an interior angle down here in blue would be an exterior angle. All right, determine for each number if it is an interior angle or an exterior angle. Well, one, that is exterior. Two, that is interior. That's on the inside of our polygon. Three, that's on the exterior. And four, that is on the interior. All right, it says we use uh, some polygonal tiles that fit together exactly. Name the two types of polygons used in the pattern. Are they regular? or irregular, okay? Well, it looks like we are using right there in the blue, those are two types. We've got a quadrilateral right there. And in the white, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. We know eight sides, that's an octagon. Um, are they regular or irregular? We can clearly see right here in white this one is, is regular because we can see all of the angles are the side and all the side lengths are the same. So the octagon is definitely regular. Is that quadrilateral regular? We'll notice that all of the angles are right angles and one of the sides is congruent to one of the sides of the octagon, so it's always going to be congruent to that side of the octagon. So that must mean that the quadrilateral is also regular. All of the sides and all of the angles are the same. 
Pick any pair of unshaded polygons. Are they congruent? Are they concave or convex? Pick any pair of unshaded polygons, okay? So I guess I'll pick this one. Polygons A and B, they're unshaded. Um, well, are they congruent? Well, notice that all of these sides all have the same side length. I mean, all of the squares have that, so every time it borders one of these, we're getting that same side length every single time. Every shape here has the same side length over and over and over again. And we see that these angles are bordering. They're also going to have the same side length. We know they're all regular. It's all butting up against one another. Yes, they are congruent. They have the same shape and same size. Are they concave or convex? These are concave vex because we will not have any diagonals. If I clear all this out, here's my A and my B. I'm not going to have any diagonals that go on the exterior of this shape. It never has a portion, you know, a concave is going to look something like that. It's never going to have a portion where it has that cave shape to it 